dear students please note down these notes have been uploaded in the description of video please download your notes dear students in this lecture of developmental biology today i will clear repair and regeneration not down bsc final year students in this lecture i will clear repair and regeneration dear students repair that involves simple healing up of minor injuries of body tissues and organs while regeneration it is a natural ability of living organisms to replace the worn out body parts or to renew the damaged or lost body parts or regeneration may also be defined as the reorganization the reconstruction of whole body from a small fragment of an organism dear students this entire process of regeneration that was discovered by abraham tremblay in 1740 and he performed experiments on hydra this process it is a developmental process and this repair regeneration that involves growth morphogenesis and differentiation of body cells and tissues here some examples of invertebrates and vertebrates to explain the process of regeneration protozoans these organisms protozoans like amoeba they show a remarkable power of regeneration this is a diagram of amoeba if hydra is cut into two parts this a part without a nucleus and this b part having a nucleus it is observed that this b part having a nucleus it reorganizes a new amoeba it means the formation of new amoeba that involves nucleus nucleus having genetic information and the nucleus involves in the differentiation in the formation of new organism while this a part without any nucleus it gets paralyzed second example of porifera sponges dear students in case of sponges having a remarkable power of regeneration in 1907 wilson he performed experiments on cycon cypha and he observed he observed that if a sponge body is crushed filtered through through a silk cloth and in the filtrate the isolated the disin disintegrated cells which reunite in a in favorable conditions to produce small fragments called sponge layer and these aggregate spongelets which grow into new sponges in suitable conditions it means wilson in 1907 he performed experiments on this cypha cycon sponge and he studied morpholaxis regeneration dear students morpholaxis regeneration means entire body whole organism is organized from a simple fragment of body in cilantrates like hydra regeneration very high power of regeneration in case of cilantrates as we know cilantrate show polymorphism polymorphism means occurrence of more than one form generally they show two forms one is polyp second is medusa it is observed that in polyp polypoid stage very high power of regeneration and in case of medusa medusaid form the regeneration power is greatly reduced the competitive exam students in case of polyp of cilantrates high power of regeneration maximum power of regeneration but in case of medusa it is greatly reduced Abraham Tremblay he worked on hydra first time he studied and he discovered he performed experiments on hydra 
to study the regeneration this hydra having three parts this upper part hypostome having tentacles this middle part and this lower part if this hydra is cut into three parts abraham tremble observed that all three parts this upper part this middle part and lower part each part is cap capable to give rise new hydra that kind of regeneration it is more flactic more flactic more for laxes means entire body gets organized from small fragments of an organism as well as he observed that if this hypostomal end it is cut into two parts each hypostomal part capable to give rise a new hypostome it means hydra becomes two headed that kind of regeneration is repetitive regeneration it means in case of hydra it, it in case of polyp cylindrates both morpholactic and repetitive regeneration reported in flat worms platyal means planarians dugesia again like hydra these organism also show remarkable power of regeneration if a planarian that is cut into three parts each part is capable to give rise a new planaria that kind of regeneration in which a simple fragment give rise hall organism that is morpholaxis or it is morphlactic regeneration here not down this upper part it is split into two parts each part give rise a new head region the planaria becomes two headed like ravana if the head is it is split it into different parts each part is capable to give rise a new head it becomes multi headed it means flat worms planarians also show both more flactic in which a small fragment is capable to give rise a new organism as well as this head region is capable to produce new head each and every time it becomes multi headed it is repetitive regeneration